On April 1, 2024, the filling of the dam body of the Dadu River Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station, the world's tallest dam, constructed by China Power Construction Hydropower No. 7 Bureau, received another good news. The monthly filling volume reached 1.53 million cubic meters, the first time breaking through 1.5 million cubic meters, laying a solid foundation for achieving the water storage target of the lower sluice. In this video, let us learn more about this dam. It is understood that the Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station is an upstream controlled reservoir project of the Plan 28 level cascade power station on the main stream of the Dadu River. It is a key project in the development of Western China, focusing on power generation and also taking into account flood control. The hub project consists of a barrage dam, a water diversion and power generation system, and a flood discharge building. Shuangjiangku Power Station is a first-class large-scale project with an installed capacity of 2 million kilowatts. The dam site controls a basin area of 39,330 square kilometers, accounting for about 51% of the entire basin. The total storage capacity of the reservoir is 2.897 billion cubic meters, and the regulated storage capacity is 1.917 billion cubic meters. It has annual adjustment capacity and plays an important role in flood control in the Dadu River and Yangtze River basins. Shuangjiangku Dam is a gravel core rockfill dam with the world's highest dam height under construction at 315 meters and a total fill volume of 45 million cubic meters. It integrates the characteristics of ultra-high core rockfill dam, ultra-large filling volume, high ground stress, high water head, high slope, high cold and deep foundation pit. The Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station construction project was actually officially approved 16 years ago, but construction has been delayed due to financial and technical constraints. The groundbreaking ceremony of the Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station was only officially held in 2015, and it is expected to be put into use around 2024. Compared with Jinping I Hydropower Station, the world's tallest hyperbolic arch dam with a dam height of 305 meters, the maximum dam height of Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station will reach about 315 meters which will once again set a new record for the world's tallest dam. Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station is an important member of the Dadu River Ladder Hydropower Station. Through certain reservoir water volume adjustment, the annual power generation output of other hydropower stations can be increased by 2.3 billion kilowatt hours every year. This is also the main reason why it is called the mainstay hydropower station on the Dadu River. The overall project of Shuangjiangku hydropower station is divided into multiple parts such as earth core rock fill dam, spillway tunnel, underground powerhouse, water diversion, and tail race buildings. The construction scale of the overall project is very large. Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station is located in the upper reaches of the main stream of the turbulent Dadu River. Because it is located in a steep mountainous terrain, the maximum flow rate of the hydropower station can reach up to 50 meters per second, and the maximum geostress experienced by the underground parts of the hydropower station is about 38 MPA. The world's tallest dam has the six highs characteristics of high altitude, high dam, high ground stress, high flow rate, high slope and high cold. How to overcome difficulties? As the core part of the dam body that is impermeable and waterproof, the core wall of the dam is like the heart of the dam. Its quality directly affects the function and safe operation of the dam body. 
Core wall filling is quite delicate, with extremely high requirements on moisture content and temperature, and the process control is very complex. In addition to controlling the quality and temperature of the material source, it is also necessary to ensure that the moisture content is within the design specified range. The power station is located on a plateau with rainy summers and severe cold winters. Dam filling is easy to stop and the effective time is greatly reduced. In order to solve the ration problem and ensure construction efficiency and material source quality, the Chinese construction team united all parties and held multiple special meetings to discuss solutions. After half a year, a white and plump greenhouse settled on the 2,311-meter elevation platform of the upstream cofferdam. Everyone calls it the air film of the upstream cofferdam and gravel mixed earth material storage yard. Use air film ceiling to solve the problems of waterproofing and heat preservation and build a stable inflatable mold storage warehouse for material preparation and storage for the dam. The total area is 20,140 square meters, 190 meters long, 106 meters wide, and 38.5 meters high. It can store 100,000 cubic meters of finished products mixed with gravel and soil. It is worth mentioning that there are no frames or beams to support the interior. Through the difference in indoor and outdoor air pressure, a huge tension is formed on the surface of the air film, making it reach sufficient stiffness, thereby realizing a structural system with large width and large space. The air film is like a plateau oxygen chamber, and the air mold core wall material storage warehouse is the first air mold application case in a domestic hydropower project, providing a reference for similar projects. Because of it, the material source is not afraid of sub-zero temperatures in winter, which not only ensures the quality of the finished soil materials, but also ensures the normal construction of the dam effectively improving the filling efficiency in winter. The filling problem has been solved, but the effective time of filling needs to be solved urgently and urgently. Since the dam surface cannot be exposed to sunlight in winter and has been frozen for a long time, the effective filling time for winter construction is only one month under the influence of low temperature and humidity. The dam can only be filled for six months out of the year. It depends on the weather and is very passive. Through repeated tests and calculations, the construction team decided to implement the technology of increasing the temperature and improving the efficiency of the aliostats on the dam core wall. This technology enables the aliostat to track sunlight and accurately reflect it to the dam core wall filling area, indirectly forming sunlight conditions, thus ensuring that the filling working surface remains above zero degrees Celsius and extending the effective construction time. On the left bank of the dam, the aliostat that automatically adjusts as the sun's angle changes can increase the surface temperature of the gravel core wall area by about 6 degrees Celsius. At 5 centimeters below the building area, the temperature rises by about 1 degree Celsius. During low temperature periods when the sun is shining, at least 3.5 extra hours of construction time can be obtained every day. This Shuangjianko hydropower station is also a smart project that adopts intelligent information and data processing methods through the application of cutting-edge technologies such as real-time data collection, transmission, integration, and analysis. The entire construction process is informatized, intelligent, and visualized to monitor and strengthen refined and centralized management and control of the project. At present, the three major functions of the Shuangjianku Smart Engineering Command Center, Function Display, Meeting Discussion, 
and maintenance support have all been officially put into operation. Smart engineering technologies such as fully automated rolling compaction, unmanned driving, laser scanning and other technologies have been successfully used in quality inspection, cofferdam filling, geological and terrain survey and other fields. So what benefits will the world's tallest dam bring to the surrounding areas after its completion? The total reservoir capacity of the Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station can accommodate up to 27.3 billion cubic meters of water. Normally, the water level will reach 2,500 meters after being filled with water. The adjustable water volume of the hydropower station is 1.917 billion cubic meters. It is understood that Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station will be equipped with a maximum total installed capacity of 2 million kilowatts after completion, and the annual power generation will reach 8.341 billion kilowatt hours. Such figures mean that after the Shuangjiangku Hydropower Station is officially put into use, it can reduce the annual coal use by 2.96 million tons, and the carbon dioxide emissions will be reduced by more than 7 million tons. The overall scale of China's current hydropower stations is unique in the world. In terms of the global ranking of hydropower dams, China's hydropower stations occupy four of the top ten places. In addition to the Shuangjiangku and Jinping Level 1 hydropower stations introduced earlier, Xiaowan Hydropower Station and Nuozada Dam are also on the list, ranking third and eighth respectively. Moreover, the electricity contributed by these two hydropower stations to China is stable at 42.9 billion kilowatt hours every year. This reflects that China is fully capable of building ultra-high dams in steep terrain. As a representative of emerging energy, China's hydropower stations have also played a leading role in the use of new energy in the world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.